So here we have some footage from the Velta Tour of Spain 2011. We have Cobra off the front and uh, Froome and Wiggins and Co chasing. Now if you look at the gear ratios of the bikes here, you can see all these riders, the fast ones anyway, the climbers, the pure climbers, are around 90 to 100 RPM. Sastry looks like he's about probably 85 there and he's and he's struggling to maintain contact. Look at Froome on the front, just driving, spinning. This is the Anglura, this is the steepest climb, perhaps the steepest climb in professional cycling ever. And these guys make it look like flat road. How? Cadence. It's all about cadence. Now people go, I'm not a pro though, I'm not a pro, you know. It doesn't matter man. Cadence. It's all about cadence. If you're stronger than these guys, you can push your heart in gear. But if you're not, then you got to spin. you got to spin. There's Daniel Martin on the back. Look at him spinning. You know, bobbing a little bit. So a little bit of bobs alright, but you want to try and minimise it. But a little bit is alright. Like this. You can just see. It's just spinning. Spinning. And Froome on the front is just spinning it easy. Low gears. This guy on the front, Kobo, he's spinning the most. He's got a 34, 32 on there. Compact chaining at the front, 32 at the back. Untouchable. Untouchable. Look at that cadence. Look at that form. Just spinning it. Up the Anglero. Spinning up the Anglero for the win. <laughs> this guy personifies cadence. You know, this is this is the steepest climb in professional cycling. This dude's spinning up there. That's what you want to do. You want to spin. Spinners are winners. Dance like Lance. As simple as that, you've got to spin. If you grind, you're going to go backwards. Spin it. Get a power meter. Prove it to yourself. Get a power meter and a cadence meter, and you'll see 90 to 100 cadence in the climbs for PBs. Anything longer than a minute. So there you go. That's your spinning tutorial. That's, your, that's how you climb. That's how you climb. Cadence. Focus on cadence. A little bit of body rocks are right, but just focus on the cadence. So we have to do get that power meter when you can. Power meter makes it all, all demonstrable. When you got a power meter on your bike, you've got all these guys training with a power meter, because then they know what is the right cadence for them. So when you got a power meter on, you can just prove it to yourself. That twelve percent spinning, just spinning. So there you go, folks. Thanks for watching. Post your comments and questions down below. Spinners are winners. Carb the fuck up, we'll see you out there.